for the youtube for success we are back again with another video so for today we will talk about friends with benefits after breakup can this work so um honestly you can be friends with benefits after breakup but it depends it depends on how you end the relationship and um if there are issues and problems involved in your previous relationship it should not be um added in in or like it should not be carried on to your friends with benefits situation okay so number one is remember to be to really be friends so you guys have to accept that you're not in a serious relationship anymore so you don't have to have expectations limitations prohibitions and so on you don't have any rules aside from uh, it's just casual sex okay number two is your friends with benefits ought to enhance your affection life not shielding you from having one so make sure that um your your friends with benefits partner know that you guys are fulfilling with fulfilling each other's sexual um activity and sexual things however it does not pre permit you to find someone date someone and have someone or having have sex with someone um at the same time that they they are seeing you okay so yeah number three is you both must be crazy legit so you guys have to be honest with yourself that it's just casual sex it's just sex it doesn't mean anything else it doesn't mean that you guys are in friends with benefits relationship just to guard each other just to see that each oh uh, the one another will not um be got get by other people okay so yeah how to survive a breakup with at the baby number one is cry like it's a breakup because it is so you can go ahead and cry because i believe that you uh, you already put so much time and effort and feelings for this man and for this friends with the benefits situation so just give yourself time to um to grieve and yeah just just go ahead and do things like you're, you've broken up with with your serious relationship partner number two is delete his number this is very important you have to delete his voicemails your number um his number his um text messages and so on okay number three is rejoice that you don't have to change yourself your single status to single yeah so since you guys are in a friends with benefits relationship you don't have like it doesn't have a way since you guys doesn't really have a serious relationship number four is treat him like an ex you have to treat him like an ex so you have to avoid him you have to not be connected with him anymore you, ha you, you have to not be committed with him anymore and so on number five is don't feel pressured to go out that night so yeah it doesn't matter if you you want to have someone else just go ahead do what you want if you wanted to have a drink go have a drink if you don't want to have a drink and just want to stay at home you can do so number six is beautify you have to have um a spa day a power day for yourself just to make sure that your beauty and your body is more attractive than what you have before number seven is call your mom or your dad or your friend or your aunt it doesn't matter you always have to call someone to remind you that um you are awesome you're great you're beautiful and so on Number eight is make a list of why he wasn't right for you. You always have to have a list of um, the cons, the disadvantages of you being with him, the bad things that they, he currently have, and so on. Number nine is focus on what you deserve, not why he didn't work out. So yeah, just, just have, just believe in yourself, have confidence with yourself that you are more than worthy number 10 is accept that he wasn't mr right you always have to accept that that he is not the one for you 
What are the signs he's not in love with you? Number one is he looks into the motion picture you've been hanging tight to see and it astonishments you for the night night on. So he might ha- not have the size to see it. However, he realizes all the show times in a five mile span. So yeah, just um he, if he just asks you for a night out and so on, doesn't he doesn't really like you. Number four two is he brings you blossoms for reasons unknown so um so yeah um Ophelia you think it's shabby it isn't so if if she's give if he has given you something like a flower and so on yeah number three is he truly endeavors to make you calm so he pushes himself just for you to have an orgasm and for you to be satisfied in bed Number four is he doesn't see his telephone when you're in jail. So if you are with him, he's not looking at his phone, he's not texting anyone else and so on. He's just focused on you. Number five is he messages you pictures of inside jokes and things that help him to remember you. He wa- he always do a way, make a way for you to remember him and for you to think about him most of the time. Number six is he needs you to spend time with his compassion. So, um, if he asks you out, um, like he asks you with his friends and so on, so he wanted for you to meet his friends and the people around him. Number seven is he endeavors to hold you while you're dozing. So, yeah. Eight is he needs to realize returned home safe. They are worried about you like they will text you a million messages asking if you are already home and you if you are safe number nine is he drops plans for you if he has already plans and then you texted him that you needed him he'll be there number 10 is he prods you possibly so if he's um yeah if he can ridicule you such that makes you chuckle, that makes you smile, you do everything to make you happy, okay? Again, this is Isa for Dating Tips for Success, and we hope to see you in our next video. Bye!